I'm Jordan Arkin, and I'm a second year pathology resident at Weill Cornell, and this is my story. On a typical day, I'll sign out cases that I previewed the night before with an attending, and sometimes a fellow's there too if there's a fellow on the service. After that, I will head to the gross room and gross the specimens that come in from surgeries that day. So as a resident, a lot of our job is gonna be grossing specimens that come in. As a resident, we'll deal with the really interesting cases. Right now I have a lobectomy, which is uh, a portion of a lung, and uh, there's a cancer inside, so basically I'm gonna get the, the specimen out and cut through it and find the cancer and describe it. And that's, that's really what grossing is, and it's a big part of what we do as residents. The residents have many, many opportunities at Wild Cornell. We have a very large specimen volume. They get a chance to look at, examine, study specimens from a very large number of patients. It's a wide spectrum of disease, covers every organ system. There's no lack of material to study and learn from. Practicing pathology, it's really like being a detective. There's so many possibilities for a diagnosis and it's your responsibility to narrow it down to one correct diagnosis. Pathologists are really behind the scenes and some people don't even know what we do. But our work is so important for patient care because without our diagnoses, patients really can't get the right treatment. I went into medical school knowing that I wanted to do pathology. I was open to other areas, but really nothing was as academically challenging as pathology. Um, nothing seemed as stimulating to me. We go through all the other rotations in medical school, but unless you know you're interested in pathology and take electives, you don't really get a good sense of what it's like day to day to be a pathologist. And what's great about Cornell is that we have a lot of responsibilities as residents. So we really get a good sense of what it means to be an attending pathologist and take ownership of our cases. So in sign out in the morning, that's when the attending will go over the cases with us that we looked at the night before. This is Dr. Chen, he's one of our surgical pathologists. And today we're working on um, cardiothoracic pathology. So these are our cases and we're gonna look at them together and um, get the reports finalized. The faculty are really accessible at Cornell. They're always really accommodating and uh, willing to help residents. Um, it's from an endocarditis case. And the patient has known endocarditis with a strep anginosis. Uh -huh. So this is, seems to be sort of like... We work with residents not only on a daily basis, but also on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, on a yearly basis. Our schedule is such that uh, we are attached one-to-one -one with the resident every week. During that week, believe me, we see more of that resident than we see of our children and of our spouse. So the relationship is that close. When you're first learning pathology, it's so helpful to be focusing on one subject and you can really learn it and read about your cases. All of the cases that come through pathology are reviewed first by the resident and second by the attending pathologist. That means the resident is the first person to review the slides, uh, render a preliminary opinion, and then present those slides to the attending pathologist who will either confirm or deny the resident's opinion. That interaction over the microscope, which can go on for several hours, is the way in which the residents really learn how to become a practicing pathologist. As a resident, having access to that level of knowledge is just such a privilege. Cornell is uh, home to several world-renowned faculty members. Probably the most notable is Dr. Daniel Knowles, our chairman. He is well known in the field of hematopathology and was one of the investigators involved in the discovery of HHV8. Dr. Syed Hoda uh, edited the Rosen Book of Breast Pathology and uh, Dr. Mark Rubin is well known for his role in research related to prostate cancer and precision medicine. We learn a lot from each other. We all have desks right in the same resident room, so if I'm looking at a slide and it's really interesting, I can just turn right around and show it to one of the first year residents because I know she's never seen it before. On Friday mornings, we have uh, what's called the Blue Box Conference, and it's where we put all the interesting or classic cases from the week, and then we get to see all the slides uh, from all the different subspecialty sign-outs that we wouldn't have had the opportunity to see if it weren't for that conference. The thing about Cornell that made me want to go here 
was really the energy of the program. You really feel part of the medical team here. Pathologists can have the reputation of just sitting behind a closed door and just making their diagnoses and really being separated from the patient care. But here, uh, we're really part of the team and an integral part of the team. Something very special at Cornell is the camaraderie among the residents. They are a very tight-knit group and even though they spend a lot of time together at work, they actually spend more time together outside of work. This is something that I think you can't prescribe and it comes from the nature of the residency training program. The residents here get along so well together. We're always planning group dinners, going to events in Central Park. A week doesn't really go by that we don't hang out together. The faculty members are also really great resources for that because they have gone through residency. They know what it's like. And since we work so closely with them, they know how hard we're working. These great teachers are definitely accessible every day from all working hours. The faculty are genuinely very friendly people who like to teach and really like interacting with residents and fellows. We all come from different backgrounds. I'm from the Midwest. We have other residents who are from right here in New York. You see the same with the patients that come to the hospital. The diversity of the population in New York City provides us with a wide variety of specimen types, so residents are exposed to virtually every aspect of surgical pathology. You're going to see a wider breadth of disease, including unusual inflammatory diseases, unusual tumors, things which you will not see in a small program. So professionally, New York is wonderful. Personally, uh, New York is also wonderful. Taking advantage of all the cultural attractions of New York City is like drinking from a fire hydrant. It is just more than you can ever take. Living in New York City is great. It has so much to offer that really no other city even comes close. One night you could go to a Broadway show, the next you could eat at a five-star restaurant. There's no other city where you can do so much. For my career, I want to stay in academic medicine, and I think Cornell is the perfect place for people who want to do that because it is a premier academic center. 